Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Al with Extreme Polishing Systems. Thanks for checking out our website. Uh, in this video here today, I'm going to be showing you how to do everything on a one car, 300 square foot solid black floor with our 100% solids epoxy. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to clean off that surface, prep the floor. If there's any glue, any mastic, any previous epoxy on that floor, you're going to want to use a, what we call a PCD. It's a polycrystalline diamond. What that's going to do, it's going to rip up any glue, epoxy, mastic from carpets that's on that floor uh, before you go in and surface the floor with a regular cup wheel or metal, gr metal 30 grit diamonds on the bottom of a machine. You can do either or. If it's not too big, you can use a hand grinder uh, with the PCD cup wheel and then with the 30 grit metal. Or if you don't have any glue or epoxy on the floor, you just use the 30 grit metal. Now, if there's any cracks, any holes, any imperfections in the floor, before you even grind it, you're gonna wanna fill it in. You cover all those cracks, smoothen out the surface. We use what we call Fix-O-Fix. It comes in a five gallon bucket. Uh, you mix it with a little part A and part E of epoxy until it becomes a mashed potato-like substance. So what's in this bucket is a powder. You mix it with a little epoxy, part A, part B, until it turns into mashed potatoes, mashed potato substance. You're gonna go ahead and pour it on the cracks, fill all the cracks. Then once that dries, there's a vacuum attached to suck up all the dust. That way it doesn't get on the walls or the ceilings or anything like that. Because uh, you know dust is one of the things that's worse for epoxy. It's a big bond breaker. So you don't want any particles of dust, no water on that floor. Once you go ahead and grind the floor with your 30 grit metal, you're gonna clean it with denatured alcohol, uh, wipe it down with a microfiber pad, vacuum it again, like I said, make sure there's no dust particles. So, you got your prep done, you're gonna come in with your, with your three part epoxy, you got two part A's, one part B, it's always two to one. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna lay down your base coat of black at 100 square feet a gallon. So you see there's three gallons. You put two pigments in both part A's. So you're gonna put one black in one part A, the other black in the other part A. You're gonna mix that up for three minutes with a stick. Very, very nice. Make sure all the black gets mixed in properly. And then when you're ready to lay this down on your actual floor, then is when you're gonna mix in your part B. So once you mix in your part B, you only have 15 to 20 minutes in, in the bucket before it starts kicking and smoking on you. So you're going to want to mix that up really, really good for about another three minutes. Mix it up so it doesn't smoke. And when you're ready, you lay it down. You, pour, you, you throw it on your floor. You're going to come in with a 3 notch squeegee. You see the teeth right here. That's going to help you move your product around uh, 300 square feet. So you're gonna get it, you're gonna move it in really nicely, get all the edges, it's gonna self-level. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna come back with a napped roller, of course after you taped all the way around to make sure any loose hairs aren't getting dropped off on, or sticking to your floor. You're gonna back roll, only back roll, not north, south, east, and west. You're only gonna back roll along your whole floor in one direction. The, then your base coat's done. You're gonna let that dry for 10 to 12 hours. You're gonna either come back that same night or the, the morning after, and you're gonna do your, your final coat. It's only two coats on a solid floor. So it's, you're gonna follow the same exact process that you followed on the base coat. You're gonna put your two blacks in your two A's. You're gonna mix that up. Then you're gonna mix it with your B and you're gonna lay it down the same exact way, 100 square feet a gallon. So there's three gallons, you have 300 square foot in a one car garage, you're gonna lay down the whole kit. You're gonna squeegee it, uh, just like the first coat, move it around with the squeegee, then you're gonna follow that with a back roll with your, with your napped roller. Let that dry for 12 hours and you got a solid black floor. Beautiful.